loves, welcome back or welcome to my channel. This is Cheyenne, otherwise known as Cozy Shy, and today we are going to be doing a speed build for a terrain station on my island. I'm kind of quite excited for this build. I think it'll fit my theme perfectly, and I was planning to build it right behind resident services, so I thought it would be cute to have a little train station just peeking out behind it. So I will take you guys with me behind the scenes. I already cleared all of the trees. I think I'm going to have to fill in some of this water, but this is where I'm going to be putting my train station. So let's get into that. All right. So starting off with the speed build, of course, I'm going to be laying down the in-game padding. I feel like this is always a long process to put this stuff down. And it still bothers me that it does not go flush to the edge of anything, but I mean, what can you do? <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just gonna lay this down in the area of interest. Um, by the way, that bridge in the back is gonna be eliminated later on because I eventually have to get more space to put things down. But with any build, I of course already cleared all the trees that were in the area, so obviously because there's no trees there, um, me rambling as per usual. But yeah, so I'm just getting all this in-game padding laid out so then I can later put the custom design padding on top of it to create. I don't know why I do this. I think it's just to make sure it's uniform just in case I want to layer the padding. I think that's why I do it. I just like, at the end of the day, dang, I'm standing still for so long. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, um, my map is going to be completely brown by the f end of this island once I finish it. So, you know what? It's okay if your map isn't beautiful because it's what's inside that counts. And you know what? This applies for anything in life. <laughs> Okay, so now I am getting the train uh, cutout standees to see where I want it to be placed before I start laying down the padding and everything just to make sure it's like the distance I want it away from resident services because I wanted the train to kind of peek out behind the resident services. I thought that would be a cute little detail. Um, and now I'm just placing down the little railroad tracks. And by the way, all of these codes are going to be available on my card link, which you can find in the description of this video under Calathea codes, because this is my island of Calathea. So now I'm putting down the main padding I'm going to use for this build. Um, so I'm planning to use the brown brick for the train station. And then of course, finishing the train tracks and to then pull the cutout standees back on top of it to make it look more realistic. Thank you. 
Okay, so now that I finished laying down like the bulk of the pathing, I'm just patching the water because I did get rid of the bridge like I mentioned earlier. And now I'm just filling that in with the land so I can extend the pathing because I want to put some buildings behind the train station to kind of like enclose it in more to make it feel like separated what i even say to feel to make it feel more like a building i guess so you'll, you'll see that later on <laughs> once i get this pathing laid out so you'll see me just like painting the stone pathing on the ground again Okay, so now I got some simple, not simple panels, stalls. I got some stalls customized to make it like the top of the terrain to make it like its roof. And then I realized I needed to add more cutout standees to make it even to have another stall. So I just made it a little bit longer, which is kind of nice because it's like a little tucked away behind resident services, which I think is a cute touch. Um, and then I'm just like extending this railroad again just one block to the left because eventually I'm going to grab a brick oven to make it like the front of the train because it lets off steam at the top and this is not an original idea by yours truly um, the creator of the train this train build whatever train cutout standees did this I don't remember their name but you can find it in my card all their like stuff is there but yeah, so I thought it was a cute little touch, um, because isn't that cute? Like, turned around, you can see the little steam. You'll see it a little bit more later. <laughs> I'm, like, so terrible at voiceovers. Anyway, so now I'm placing down the simple panels to kind of gauge where I want the building to be. So I think that's probably the spot I ended up going with. Can't recall. It took me, like, a couple tries to get it the way I wanted. And of course, with the train station, you're going to have some benches around because you're like waiting for your train. So I put that there and then eventually I'll put down Rover's briefcase because of course, if you're at a train station, you're traveling somewhere. So it makes sense to have your briefcase with you. And then the classic, oh my gosh, this is so fast. The, I put the antique things back there for height for the build. Uh, my gosh. And then I put record boxes that are customized with little windows, like curtains, and I put that um, in the stalls to make it look like the train station's windows are closed. Um, geez, I build so fast. <laughs> I'm like struggling to keep up. And then of course I put like the spooky fences on the side to make it look like railings. Um, and then here I was like, hmm, I need to figure out how to frame the area better. So I put a tree down. Um, I didn't end up keeping the tree because it just looked kind of weird. The one in the back, not in the front. Um, but you'll see later what I ended up doing with it. Oh, and here's the briefcase that I eventually put down that I mentioned earlier. And yeah, so picking weeds time. Yeah, I hope you guys like this voiceover. Like, so good at voiceovers. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. But yeah, so I'm just extending the pathing and I think I'm going to create walls using bookshelves um, to block off the area some more to make it feel less open. So you'll see me do that in a bit and then eventually I'll take down that tree because it just doesn't look good. Okay, so here I am just placing another bench down to frame the area some more and then deciding what fencing I want to put to further frame the area. And I was deciding between the hedges or the spooky fence and then with this like iron type of fencing, forgot what it's called, but 
I decided that one looked the best because it just matched the area better, so I went with that fencing. And I like it. It looks pretty good, honestly. Now I'm just playing around with different items to see where I want to put them. You know, like sometimes you just don't know exactly what you want to do in the moment, so you'll see me like pacing back and forth, just thinking to myself, seeing where I want to put things. Um, this is something I always do, just playing around. And over here, this is where I noticed there was a gap, and I didn't like the gap that I had, so that's why I ended up removing the tree, which you'll see eventually. And then I ended up putting something in the corner, which looks really nice. Um, I can't remember at what point in this video I do that, but... I hope you guys are getting some good inspiration from this train station build. Um, I originally got the idea from Ava Evergarden. She recommended for me to make a train station. I was like, ooh, I would love to make a train station. So she was the one who motivated me to build this on my island. And I'm really happy she did because it's now one of my favorite builds on my island. <laughs> so forever grateful. And here I am adding height to the build, of course, using the wedding pipe organ. Um, adding the tree to, you know, further create some more dimension and to make it feel more closed off. Okay, so now I'm creating more buildings um, behind the train station. So I added a section of cliff above so I can add more simple panels to make more height in the build because I kind of wanted to see more of it from the front, um, which you ended up not really seeing anyways, but at least it's there. It looks nice when you walk past it. <laughs> But I'm just putting down random pathing again. There's no particular reason why I'm putting this down. Um, I just chose a random pathing just to define the area. Eventually I'm going to decorate this up some more. This was just like temporary for the build itself. That's what I do a lot. Like I'll just like put it randomly, like a small little section just to add to the build, even though it's like not totally complete. Just like for the personal satisfaction of getting the majority of the build done. <laughs> As goes for all of the other areas on my island, it's just kind of like here and there. But eventually everything will connect and it'll look good. But for now, it's just kind of like all over the place. I've really only worked on the front section of my island. Anyway, so I put this little like coffee shop pick-me-up place at the train station. So I feel like it will be like something you would see maybe. I've never been to a train station before so I like, don't know what you really find there. I was just looking at pictures online on Pinterest of what train stations look like in real life but I was like debating whether to make it like a little coffee section or like the ticket dispensing area so I'm like still not sure if I should change that to a ticket dispenser thing instead of the coffee machine but you guys can let me d know down in the comments if I should change it to like a little ticket and I can drop like a dream ticket or like a Taylor's ticket there to make it seem like it's the train station ticket. Anyways, so now I'm getting on to working on the rest of the build here. So I'm playing around with like fencing or cutout standees and stuff. I think I ended up going with cutout or yeah, cutout standees. I'm pretty sure I did. Can't remember. But anyways, I'm adding more height to the build with the silo because again, I just feel like 
with these fake buildings. It helps adding things in the background to make it look more dimensional instead of like pretty flat. So I was messing around with the silo and the buddy pipe organ. I ended up using both I believe and then I eventually got some simple panels and I think the cutout standee uh, thing to be a door like these things. I don't think I ended up with those ones. You'll see eventually, but you get the drift, right? You know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> I just feel like I'm just going on and on. But anyways, this is what I end up doing. I'll just leave it there and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Alright, that is it for my train station speed build. I hope you guys enjoyed and got some inspiration from the build itself. Honestly, I am obsessed with this. I didn't think I could pull it off, but I mean, just look at it. <laughs> I'm like actually so proud of myself. Of course, like, the, I still need to add more because, like, you see how empty it is on the sides, but at least the main build itself looks really good, and I'm really, really, really happy with it. I think I definitely need to do a montage for this. Um, I keep forgetting to do montages on my last two speed builds, um, so I'm definitely going to do a montage for this one, um, so stay tuned for that. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the little montage. If you did, go ahead and thumbs up the video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the bell notification button on so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. Until next time, goodbye!